sag, all this stuff, okay? Now, what is so unique about it? Well, inside of this, the, the extract, or this process, and, and the compound that's in here was accidentally discovered and they patented it, okay? And you notice right here, the only company that has capability of horsepower near Moline. What does that mean? We're the only ones that know how to extract it. And it's a Okay? So those two things right there give us, for, for the people looking at this as a business, you've got to look at what, if, if you can be copied or not. You want to have a large barrier to entry. In other words, you can't be copied. Because if you can be copied, you will be copied. I'll give you an example. I happen to like five hour energy a lot. <laughs> this is a gift. <laughs> I'm caffeine's good for you. I'm not kidding, it is. All right. Eight years ago, had you ever heard about uh, five hour energy? No. But they spent tens of millions of dollars marketing to get your awareness up. All right? How many labels do you see on the convenience store counter now about five hour energy? 60? Okay, why? Because it is that easy to make. Very inexpensive. And so what I do is I don't buy them at the convenience store counter. I have people give them to <laughs> I buy them by the two dozen at Costco or Sam's. Well, I used to. I go into Costco, I'm in Austin, Texas. I go into Costco because I want some five hour energy. I mean, two hours sleep last night, two hours sleep my four. How do you think I'm standing up here? <laughs> Coffee, which I love, thank you. Excuse me. That's a mocha. No fat, no cream. Got to size the guilt complex, you know. <laughs> so, I go into Costco, and I go over to the shelf where they got it, and I'm reaching for the two dozen bottle package. And for some reason or other, my eye catches this same label over here, but there's a difference. It says Kirkland's. Same label, same color, same design, same everything. And I, me, being a pharmacist, I say, well, let's see it. It's the same thing. Grab a bottle here, grab a bottle here. Same little brown, same percent, same little brown, same. As a matter of fact, in the same order. Hmm. Three dollars and fifty-two cents. I mean, fifty-seven cents. Fifty-one cents. If you can be copied and you've got a great niche, you are going to be copied. I'll give you another example in this marketing model. Five years ago, six years ago. I guarantee you, there was a juice that came through this area. It's a great juice. Kind of, sort of, a little bit mighty expensive. All they did was wake up the big boys, and it's so easy to copy, there must be 600 labels of it today. I like it. I buy it. But I don't pay $240 for three bottles. Okay, or whatever it is, six bottles. If you can't be copied, you will be. We can't be copied. Yes. Yep. That is called a unique sales position. And how many people are here that for the first time looking at this as a business? Okay, I really want to see your hand. I'm not going to pick on you. I'm going to tell you something. You are in the most unique position you have ever seen. Yes, Ron. <laughs> I like that. Everybody needs to say that. Yes, Ron. Yes, Ron. <laughs> It's amazing, and I'll, I'll confirm that for you in a few minutes. All right. I got that out of place. We'll come back. This is how I'm going to confirm it. This man here, Don Smothers, I've known him since 1988. He is the go-to formulator in skincare products. I guarantee you that you have bought products off the shelf that he's formulated. I guarantee you. Because he's formulated for every name you can name. And retail marketing like L'Oreal and Clinique and all this, and Maybelline and and uh, uh, what is that other one? Olay, and all the way to high end, where it's Albaji and, and Lemire and all this. He's also formulated for Mary Kay, Audubon, 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 Birds, not Prince. Audubon, uh, 
Skin, Amway, and all this. Okay? He is a master formulator. He's the go-to guy. Five weeks into marketing this product, on a Monday morning, he gets two telephone calls saying, who are these people and how do we get that product? One from L'Oreal, one from Mary Kay. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> when Mary Kay person is not speaking to me anymore right now. I've got to try it, but she won't talk. She won't talk. They've been told many things about it. Absolutely. Because people are coming to this company from all those other companies for one product, for one reason in a minute, and I'll show you. And they ask him, how do we get this? He's our packager. He's our, our blender packager. And he said, well, I'm sorry, but uh, you never will. Because Jeff Olson owns the entire worldwide distribution rights for any dermal application of this product, period. <laughs> I've never seen a product delivers results as quickly as your hair may be. He knows what he's talking about. Oh, talk about copying. The doctors like him, and they ask him to be a member of the board of directors. Well, that's kind of like putting a fox in the chicken house, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Except what he said there. He says, no reason to be formulating the product. He was asked recently, how long is it going to take for somebody to copy us? And he said 12 to 15 years, just like that. He said, think about something. It takes 10 years for this near oleander bush to mature, <coughs> where the extract is optimally effective. Do you see anybody spending millions of dollars to grow an orchard so they can harvest it in 10 years if they can find a way to do it? Right. He said, well, what if they do? 12 to 15 years. He said, you remember Hertz? <coughs> Hertz had a five-year jump on Avis. And Avis has always been number he says, so what? You're first to market, you're the big you're market makers. Game over. Don't worry about it. All right. 